There appears to be an entrenching of positions when it comes to Iran with a number of key developments in recent days. These come amid the breakdown of nuclear talks over the past few months and increasing protests following the death of 22-year-old Mahsa Amini after her detention by Iran's so-called morality police. Our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report. Have a look. A U.S.-led resolution led to a vote to expel Iran from the U.N.'s Commission on the Status of Women, the first time in the Commission's history that a country has been removed. It's entirely illegal. Meanwhile, Syrian opposition media has reported airstrikes against Iranian targets in the country. While no comment has come from Israel, the strikes come after Israel Defense Force Chief Aviv Kohavi confirmed an Israeli airstrike last month on an Iranian arms convoy. And in the latest, Israel, the UAE, Bahrain and Morocco, who signed the Abraham Accords normalization agreements with Israel just two years ago, are said to have held a series of meetings to discuss establishing a cyber Iron Dome, a joint cyber defense platform. The move is reportedly aimed at defending against Iranian hacking attacks. And in response to what is seen to be growing international support for the protests against the Islamic Republic, an Iranian editor who is close to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei has suggested that Iran should close the Strait of Hormuz to Western countries. If pursued, this would be a significant move because one third of all oil traded by sea passes through the Strait of Hormuz and any attempt to close it would risk a major confrontation with the United States. This is Jody Cohen for We On World Is One.